What's up guys, Chris here from Security Bros, back with another video. And today I will have a look at another affordable top selling PTZ camera from AliExpress. The Bestier 5 megapixel Wi-Fi outdoor IP security camera with auto tracking. Is it any good? Let's find out. So what we have here is a really cheap outdoor pan and tilt security camera with good image quality. And considering its low price, I definitely think this is a camera worth checking out if you're looking for a pan and tilt camera on a tight budget. It does support auto tracking, so it can follow a moving object. However, with these cheap cameras, auto tracking is not very reliable and this camera will follow anything that moves. So not really something I would recommend using. You can quickly move the camera to a new position using preset points and you can also have the camera patrol between those preset points. However I could only get it to do one patrol and then it stopped and you had to restart the patrol again. So not really sure how useful that's going to be. And as with all these cheap pan and tilt security cameras it's made of cheap plastic so build quality is of course not the best. And to make sure the camera will last as long as possible, I would recommend placing it under some kind of cover, just to protect it from the rain and direct sunlight. And I got this camera from AliExpress and I paid $35 for it. And if you're interested in buying this camera, you will find my affiliate links in the video description below with the most updated prices. So the camera uses a 5 megapixel sensor that records 2592 by 1944 at 12 frames per second. It can pan 270 degrees and tilt 90 degrees. Unfortunately it does not have any optical zoom. You can use this camera as a standalone camera if you want and have it record only to the SD card. And when the camera detects motion it will send you an instant push notification to a smart device that you can view directly in the app from playbacks. It supports both 24-7 loop recording or if you only want the camera to record when motion is detected. It supports up to 128GB microSD card. They also offer cloud subscription if you're interested in that. It also supports Onviv, so you should be able to connect the camera to most brands NVRs or software that supports Onviv. And I tested the camera using Onviv Device Manager and it worked just fine. The camera supports two-way audio so you can talk and listen through the camera. And this is how it sounds like when I talk through the camera. You can also record your own alarm voice or use the default alarm sound to scare away any intruders. For night vision it uses two infrared lights for normal black and white night vision, but it also has six white LEDs which can be used for full color night vision. And you have three different night vision modes, normal black and white, motion activated and always have the lights on. Ok so what we get in the box is the camera, power adapter, a quick start guide, weatherproof connector cover and a bag with screws. On the front of the camera we got the lens, two infrared lights, six white LEDs, light sensor and a microphone. On the back we will find the speaker and if we open up this cover we get the SD card slot and the reset button. To connect to the camera is really easy, so first we need to download and install an app called IEC from either Google Play Store or App Store depending on what device you are using. When you have the app open and the camera is powered on, tap on the plus icon to add a new device and then select add Wi-Fi camera and then next step, select your network and add your password. Now just wait until the camera is connected and that's it. Here on the main screen we can turn on and off audio, change the image quality, change the screen, record video and full screen. Down here we can turn on the auto tracking, set up patrol, watch playbacks, talk through the camera and take a snapshot. Here we have the different menus, intercom, cloud, PTZ and lightning. Ok let's have a look at the settings. I will just quickly show the ones that I think are interesting to you.
Okay, let's have a look at some recordings. Here we have daytime at the highest resolution with audio turned on. And here I test if you can read a license plate at around 10-15 meters from the camera. Here I move the camera using preset points. And here I move the camera manually using the PTZ controls in the app. This is nighttime at the highest resolution with audio turned on. This is not in complete darkness since there is a street light just across the street. And here I test the smart full color night vision, which means when the camera detects motion, it will turn on the white LEDs and you can set it up in the app how long you want them to stay on for. Here I move the camera using preset points. Alright guys, thank you for watching this video. If you're interested in more videos like this, why not hit that subscribe button and like the video. See you next time.